What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry and today we're going to be talking about streaming services. But no, not the streaming services in your DJ software. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the larger streaming services that the world uses. Your Spotify's, your Apple Music's, your SoundClouds, the things that people are using on a daily basis why it's important for you to actually use some of these streaming services. We're gonna talk about that today. So I, I know some of you people are saying, well, why do I need streaming services? I got my music that I listen to. I have all of the music that's available to me from my DJ record pools, and I can check trending there. I can go online. I can check trending on some of the major radio stations. I can do all these things, but if you are only using those tools, you are actually limiting yourself and probably setting yourself up for some issues when you hit the stage and you're actually DJing for a group of people, whether it be adults, kids, especially kids. Uh, a lot of these things can really come hit you in the face dead on when you're DJing for them. People today are utilizing the streaming services as a way to find new music, to cater to the music that they like. They can shift, they can mold, they can customize to make it the music that they wanna hear. Then on a go forward, they're kind of being fed the music that Apple or Spotify thinks is their taste. But that taste is not your taste. So while you're thinking, well, this music sounds good or this song is great, and then you go to play that song and it's not giving you any impact on the dance floor, there's probably a reason for that. So here is a few reasons why every DJ should be utilizing streaming services and actually using it on a daily basis. First, radio stations. Radio stations are garbage nowadays. Radio stations aren't playing half the music that these people are listening to on a daily basis. I'm not talking about your standard pop that your adults are gonna listen to or your standard pop and hip hop and EDM, the stuff that is kind of bigger than what the radio is, okay? I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm not talking about your Drakes and people like that, that no matter what they're gonna do, your Drakes and your Rhiannons and your Beyonce's, the moment they drop an album, it's everywhere. So everybody has opportunities to hear it. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about radio limits. What is actually out there? Radio is, <laughs> radio is really about who pays the most in marketing versus the best music that's out there. So you're gonna see your larger people. They're gonna push yourselves into the forefront of the music and that's all you're gonna hear. And I know and you know, if you're listening to music, that first hour, you hear some new stuff, that second hour, guess what? You're hearing that same music you just heard before with maybe one or two songs in there. But there's a lot of music out there that's not being tapped into from the radio. Another thing about the radio is, the radio is specific in genre. If you're listening to hip hop, that's all you're listening to. If you're listening to your alternative music, that's all you're listening to. And in order to get through multiple genres, you have to change the channels and that's gonna limit what you have access to. Streaming services don't necessarily have this issue. Once you they start learning what you like, they're gonna play everything in that big bubble, okay? So you're gonna get alternative, you're gonna get some EDM, you're gonna get that hip hop, and it's all going to be there and it's going to expose you to more music. Satellite is better, but satellite suffers from the same issues. Streaming opens you up to a new palette of music. It's giving you access to music that you haven't heard before, and it's essentially you digging in the crates now. Back when you used to go to the record shops and you would actually go through and find new music by just sitting on the floor and going through hundreds and hundreds of records. Well, you're gonna get that same feeling by using these streaming services, but it's a lot easier and it's a lot easier to find stuff and maybe even things that you didn't think you needed or you remember you used to have and now you wanna find it. Well, it's gonna be available typically on the streaming services. It's not gonna be available in Amoeba Records. It's just, you just don't know what you're gonna get. So you have a lot more access to music. Streaming services gives you insight into what people are listening to nowadays. Uh, there are a lot of playlists that are actually on like your Apple Music and your Spotify where they're playing a lot of this, say for instance, your disposable hip hop that's popular one week and then the next week nobody's listening to it anymore. But on the streaming services, when you start looking at playlists and things that are trending that are on that playlist, first off, those songs aren't necessarily being played on the radio, but they are top tiers on the streaming services. I can't tell you how many times I've had requests for music and I'm looking at those playlists that are on those popular streaming services and 
80% of the music that's on there are what the kids are asking for. Again, not being played on the radio. So it's important that you know where people are actually looking for music, where your audience is looking and trying to find new music. Because if you're looking in the wrong spot, it doesn't matter what you download, it's not gonna work for what you're trying to do. You're just gonna have a whole bunch of music that nobody likes. So if you can get on these streaming platforms and start to look at what what is trending, what's been popular, it's gonna make you a better DJ. And the last thing, a lot of times what you don't see is some of that old music that you forgot about starts making a comeback. And keep in mind, streaming music is not about today. Streaming music is about every day. And the music that you hear, for all you know, might have been big five years ago, but you're hearing it for the first time and it's new to you. I mean, I'll, I'll listen to streaming music and I'll find an artist that I like and then I will look at when that album was released and it was released, you know, six or seven years ago, but it's still a great album. And I think that's what's going on with a lot of people. They're hearing albums that are new to them, but they're actually really, really old, but that doesn't change the fact that it's not good music. So it's just opening up the it's opening up the window for everybody to access new music and i think it's actually great i think it's i think it's gonna go back to the olden days i mean back before radio stations were very specific in their genres where it, whether it be hip-hop or alternative at one point there used to be a time when all music was just played on one channel and you had your hip-hop and you had your rock and it was all being played on the same channel but i think it made you a, a more well-rounded person and i don't think I don't think you're getting that anymore, and I think it's limiting. So having access to these streaming services are just going to open up your view and your vision of DJing. It's going to make you a better DJ. All right, guys, once again, thank you guys for checking out my videos. I know there are a lot of videos out there and you have many, many choices, but you choose to look at mine and I appreciate it. Make sure you drop down below in the comment section and let me know what you're using as your streaming services. Let me know what your tools are for trying to find new music and how it's been going for you. Guys, make sure you hit that like button if you found what I said here useful. If you found what I said here really useful, hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm doing a lot of videos on there and I think uh, I think they can be helpful too. All right, guys, once again, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.